Hello friends, in this part we will learn how to upload uh, a file that is an image file and we will uh, create all that functionality okay, together. So let's jump into the create post form and we need to first uh, import a package okay and an uh, uh, npm package in our app.js file okay, let me just quickly search for it here app.js all right and the package name is express upload okay so we can use npm install uh, but I'll use my IDs functionality so I'll name it file upload and require it from express hyphen file upload this is the package name okay make sure you type it correctly okay so it's installing now and once it's done I'll put it here just under the global variables file upload middleware app not use file upload that's it you, you know the drill right so once this is done we have to modify our form because to accept files we need to uh, set a property that is ink type multi-part form data okay and once this is done then we can uh, create that particular uh, section to form to file a flow to upload the file basically I'll create another form group here <clears throat> put a label for let's say file file upload okay uh, an input section with the type as file class as form control form control and ID as file and name as file as well okay let's put it as uploaded file all right so I just save this go back to my admin section we close all the other build other tabs here post create new post I should see this file section if I click this it will give me the file here okay I can go back to my desktop just a sec and choose anything I'll choose an image image one okay. so we have it here and as and if we submit it we will not have this as of now because in our controller or admin controller we are not telling that uh, we are going to send a file okay this is our uh, submit post method here okay so we are only targeting the these fields okay now we have to target our file property as well okay so let me put a, put a section here I'm gonna remove this validation part it says check for any input file so I'm gonna define a variable file name to an empty string and then we have this request object here this will have a property now called dot files okay So if I just simply comment out everything here from here till here and console log this file request of file let's see what, what we get okay and go back hit this button okay so you see we get this file information image information right and we want to use it okay 
so uh, let's quickly create a function here to check if the file is empty or not is empty name it function and in that function we'll send an object okay object so for I'm gonna use a for loop here key in obj if obj dot has own property key I'll return false else we return true so if this has a property key that means it's not empty otherwise it's empty okay all right so I will go back to my controller and I'm gonna import that functionality from my functions file and I'll name it is empty all right so I'm gonna check if this required files is not empty not is empty files then we will do something right you want to create an object right so let's do it this way and also we need a folder here under the public section then create one with the name uploads okay where we will store our files on the server so let files equals to request the files dot uploaded file and this is the name that we gave it gave the input field right so our file name should be files dot file name or maybe file dot name not namespace file dot name should be file not files okay so we have only one file and I'll also create a upload directory upload the IR that will be public uploads something like that okay then we will use the move function that comes along with our uh, uh, package that we imported so it's the load directory plus the file name and in the callback if we get any error we throw that okay and once this is done then I'm gonna uncomment this so in this file section what we're gonna do we're gonna store it store an URL here basically so I'm gonna use the back text uploads slash the file name okay so with this let's test it and see if we get anything in this uploads directory or not right so go back post with image choose an image I'm going to choose image one public anything you want this is the test post with image upload all right let's see okay says refuse to connect and we are getting that fine it says if error oh my bad let's do this save it and you see we got our file here perfectly fine but I did not go through 
So I remove that, remove that file from the server, and let's go back to the create method and post with image img1. Okay, post with image now. Perfect. And if I go back to my home page, I don't see that, right? Because that is not fetched from my uh, database. Okay, if I see my database, let me quickly minimize this and open Compass. You will see a uh, URL there instead of the image name. Okay. So this this pretty much concludes the file upload and it will check for any empty cases if you are not selecting any file it will just put a blank empty string there so we have our tutorial CMS posts this is the last post that we created remember uh, post with image and do you see the file option no we don't okay so that's strange so we go back to my post model I named it file did I ah all right, I don't have a property. Never mind. Let's create one quickly. Type string. String should be capital string. Default empty. Okay. Perfect. All right. Let's try for the final time. I'm going to delete the image from here. I'm going to delete both the posts that we just created. So this one as well. All right, go back to the browser. Admin, post, create, post with image. Choose a file, image1, one. image1, one. post with image okay saved go back to the uh, database refresh all right so now we see the file property perfect and if you are curious you can simply go to uploads folder and see your file in img dot img one dot jpeg maybe there okay Perfect. So with this, uh, I'll see you in the next video where we will be working on the login and registration functionalities. Okay. Till then, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.